Hello everyone, Kajudo Channel here with another video duel with a very special guest. So, this guy is all the way from Japan. His name is UK Mon. Um, basically, he contacted me on YouTube uh, asking if he can somehow play Kaijudo with me. And, uh, yeah, I definitely agreed. I accepted. And uh, we got on Skype and we started playing. Uh, now, one thing to note here, uh, he kind of just assumed the rules were exactly the same as Duel Masters. So while he knew most of the effects and everything, he kind of ended up using four of each card and used the 40 card deck and whatever. And he didn't know about the mana rule either, like the mana, he, he played it like he wanted to be sure he did his mana right and everything. So uh, just take note of that. But uh, anyways, this is really fun. Uh, so I play Hunter Fish as my first play. So I'm playing a fire nature uh, water aggro-ish thing that I made. And um, he's running Water Darkness Control if he was able to play four of each card. <laughs> so I get a Gatling and a Refi, um, you know, in the turn two and three. He doesn't have anything yet, but I think he gets a, a Seneschal. Um, not sure, maybe not. I think he does, though. Um, but yeah, when I told him about the new rules, he was freaking out and laughing really hard and stuff and it was just really funny to see uh, a, a reaction from the Japanese about the new rules and how Kaijudo works and stuff like that and <laughs> it was just really funny so I go ahead and swing with Gatling because he has no way to deal with it uh, so I go ahead and break one of his shields uh, it was also really really hard to communicate with him but it ended up working out in the end uh, uh, like after the match, we did a kind of uh, kind of discussion interviewish kind of thing that I didn't record, but I pretty much had to use Google Translate all the way through, and I tried to speak with him in Japanese, and it worked most of the time, anyways. Uh, sometimes he's just like, "Huh? <laughs> like, like what? I what did I just say?" <laughs> so uh, I had to like mess around with Google Translate until he understood what I was trying to say. So he goes ahead and plays Bone Blades on my Gatling. So now I have no more attacker. And passes to me. And you know what's really cool though? He doesn't actually have these Kaijudo cards. He actually just printed them out. And they look really convincing for printouts. So I was fooled. I thought he was, you know, I thought he was actually playing with the real cards. So I asked him after and he's like, no, I just made images of him. Like, oh, okay. So I get a Raging Goliath off. Uh, turn 5, which is not bad. I think I'm actually holding a, a Tatsuron or something in my hand, but I'm not sure exactly. So I put Spy Mission in mana, and Fumez. He actually pronounced it as Fumez too, which made me laugh a little bit. <laughs> so uh, I was like, yes, even the Japanese know how to say it right. Uh, so I go ahead and discard another Goliath. Uh, despite how weird that looks, because I have a Goliath on the field and I'd have two 6,000s. Uh, I think I actually had a way better card than my other card. Yeah, I had Essence Elf. I mean, that powers up everything and not just, you know, the other Goliath. So I decided to swing with Goliath, big 5,000. Because uh, once again, he has no way of dealing with that. Um, I mean, my deck is aggro. I gotta get rid of his shields. And uh, with this slow kind of meta right now, I can't really do much uh, so the control deck really screws me over but um, it doesn't matter I think I put up a good fight anyway uh, so he's thinking <laughs> I just find it really interesting how the Japanese play the game it's really cool like how they set up their mana and uh, just like how they how they do things in general <laughs> while playing card games it's pretty cool uh, yes, how much card I have in hand. I've won. Uh, uh, you know, I was I was actually using the Japanese numbers to kind of help him out a bit, but I think he knew the numbers quite well. Uh, so he taps to plays a refi. <laughs> we just called it fish like the whole game. Like if he plays like comet missile or whatever, or no, if I played comet missile, I'd be like fish. So he discards my comet missile. Which I was sad about. I really wanted to get rid of blockers so I could swing for game. Uh, so I top deck a bronze arm tribe and I use it 
to get Hydro Spy. And then I decide, well, I might as well attack with Goliant. I'll be surprised if I didn't. Yeah, okay, here we go. I swing with Goliant into another shield. Yeah, when it's when it looks like I'm pointing to the right, I'm actually pointing to the left, kind of. I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to point to which shield you want, especially when you can't tell them, like, the far left shield or whatever. So I was just, like, trying to point in the right direction. I just said, whatever, take whatever shield. <laughs> Um, so, um, what does he do now? Oh yeah, another cool thing about him, um, uh, he says he had to go to work after, uh, after a, a quick game that we did, and, uh, I asked him where he worked, if he, if I didn't mind, uh, I mean, if he didn't mind me asking, and he said he works at a card shop, so that is pretty dang cool. Uh, yeah, I, at first I thought he said he was gonna go to a card shop to play Duel Masters, and I'm like, wait, that's not work. <laughs> and then I asked him again, like, do you actually work there? And he's like, yeah, I work there, I run a shop. I'm like, And then I was like, oh, cool. And he, he runs Duel Masters tournaments, so it's pretty sweet. I don't know what I just did there. Well, uh, did anyone get that? I don't know what I did. I think I got rid of Refi somehow. And I'm swinging with Bronze Arm Tribe. Oh, he also pit my Goliath. Okay, yeah, I, I just saw that too. So yeah, he was getting Fumez after Fumez after Fumez because he's using four of everything, so it's pretty funny. Uh, so he Bone Blades. <laughs> so here it was kind of hard to ask him what he wants to kill. So he would, he would say, um, like, mana cost and then color. He'd be like, two green. Like, oh, okay, Essence Elf. <laughs> Uh, so it was, it was pretty funny. Uh, so I actually block the Seneschal. Uh, but I guess that was probably a really bad play. I probably should have taken it. I don't know why I blocked, to be honest. I mean, cool, I, I blocked the Seneschal, but I, I also lost my Bronze Arm Tribe. So I have no idea why I did that. Uh, that was a really bad play on my part. But at least he lost a Seneschal. I mean, he loses draw power, I guess. But uh, it would have been nice for me to get some cards in hand as well. Because I was kind of lacking. And he gets another Seneschal. So he would have had three if I didn't block. Which would have been kind of annoying. But at the same time, I, I think it wouldn't have been that bad. Because I would have had a Bronze Arm Tribe on the field. Actually, wait. No, never mind. Because he actually attacked my Bronze Arm Tribe with the Seneschal. So either way, I was kind of screwed there. Um, I don't know what I just played. Oh, I played another Bronze Arm Tribe. But it's pretty cool to see that uh, when the Japanese looked at the cards, uh, he actually made the right call and made a, a Blurple Control deck. Uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's nice to see what he was playing. He was playing a lot of Dream Pirates, too, so... Uh, uh, I don't know what cards he wasn't playing. Well, obviously he didn't play Death Smoke because he ran four Terror Pits. <laughs> he Ice Blades my Essence Elf, so now my guys have less power. He's running a lot of Ice Blades too, which I think is uh, pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask him about his deck list though, just to see what he made. Could like if he considered the Duel Masters rules. So he swings the Seneschal again, and I decide to block with uh, Refi. I mean, personally, I'd rather him not draw more cards, so that that was my whole reason behind blocking with Refi all the time. It's like a fair trade kind of thing. Uh, then he swings with Fumez, actually, as well. And I'm not getting any triggers, which is making me sad. Uh, so now he's looking pretty good. He has five creatures, one of them being a Zagan, another being a Seneschal, and I simply just have a Bronze Arm Tribe and a Refi. So now I'm kind of thinking, how in the world am I going to come back from this? This is a little bit scary. I don't have any board clears, really, except for Overcharge, I guess, but I don't have enough creatures to really you know, make good use of that. He also got rid of two of my Essence Elves, I think. Actually, I think one of them is in my hand right now. 
or something. I don't know what happened. Or maybe he fumes it. No, I didn't fumes it. So I play Hydro Spy and then Elf and a Ambler Scorpion. So I drew into another two drop and I said, okay, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and swarm him so I can get rid of his last shield and then do a direct attack. Uh, so I actually decided to swing with the Bronze Arm Tribe because I, I wouldn't mind if he traded with the Skeeter. And so he decides to block, so I was like, yes, okay, good. I got rid of a blocker, and I still have three attackers next turn. So I'm looking pretty good because he has no blockers and only one shield. And even if that's a terror pit, I win. So, But he probably gets more blockers now. So he plays Hydra Spy to draw more. Gets a blocker and refi, and he gets another blocker. So he gets two refis, uh, and then he swings with the Zagan, and I'm like, well, I'm going to go ahead and block, because I only have two shields left, and he'd easily beat me. Now here, I think I got lucky. He swings with Seneschal, and I'm like, oh man, I got returned to the soil. So I returned to soil one of the Fumes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I chose the Fumes. I'm trying to point to his... Uh, I'm trying to say hand discard card. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh yes, okay. <laughs> um, I should have just said four purple or four black or something, but I didn't think of it at the time. <laughs> uh, so what happens here now? It passes to me because he can't just win with by attacking the with the Fumes. So now here's where I have to make a difference, kind of. I forget what I did this turn. I charged mana. And I teleported the refi. One of them, anyways. So I have three attackers, and he only has one blocker. That was my whole reasoning behind bouncing the fish. Is I want to go for game now. Like, this is my only chance. I have to make good use of it. And then I draw, and then I tap four for overcharge for kind of no reason. Uh... It was kind of like a, uh, I don't know what I really did with that. Oh yeah, kind of uh, to, to make sure that the refi doesn't kill any of my things if he blocks with it. So it would be a trade no matter what. Uh, so I swing with Hydra Spy first, and he's like, uh, okay, I'll block and trade. Then I swing with Scorpion and pray it's not a trigger, and it's not, and I get the game with Essence Elf. <laughs> I don't even know how I came back from that, but I guess I got pretty lucky with the one return to the soil of my shields, and uh, he, yeah, and then I just managed to get through his blockers and swing for game. So, first game goes to aggro, which I'm pretty surprised I actually won a game. Uh, but now I'm going to go on to the next game, game two, um, coming up soon. I'll post that, you know, right after this, and you can go right there. Alright guys, see you later.